welcome back. I'm here with Kathy Egan with Farm to Table here making a nice, fresh spinach salad, and it just smells so wonderful. It does, and it's so colorful and beautiful. Um, and today is really cold, so this this salad would be great to go with a nice pot of soup. Yes, it uh, would. To have a really good, warm meal, but get a lot of, of nutrients. Uh, and I really want to feature our spinach in this salad that we're doing today. Um, it has spinach, romaine lettuce, um, some sweet onion. I'm using red onion in this and some strawberries. So it's very beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, but because we're using some spinach, it's also really nutritious for us. It's packed with lots of nutrients. And we're going to make a homemade poppy seed dressing to go with this salad. Yeah. So we can actually kind of control a little bit uh, as far as the fat and things in our dressing when we make a homemade dressing. So it's a great way to pair with our spinach for the salad. Well, this is beautiful. I mean, the spinach is so nice and green. And is this baby spinach? It looks like you have a few different varieties. It in is. Here. I've actually mixed some romaine lettuce with okay. the spinach. Of course, you can make the salad just with spinach if you want or do like I did and, and do a mixture of greens. And that's the great thing about a salad like this is you really can do whatever you want and you can change it any way that you want and uh, add what you like, you know, and, mm -hmm. and make it your own. Okay, well, I'll let you get started. Sure. For our dressing, we have a half cup of mayonnaise, and of course, you can use a light mayonnaise or a fat-free mayonnaise, however you want to um, change the calories on that. And to that, we're going to add a fourth of a cup of milk, and again, with this, you can use a skim milk or 1% milk to reduce the fat and calories there. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of balsamic vinaigrette to give it a really good flavor. And we are also going to add two tablespoons of poppy seeds. Now, these are optional. If you don't mm -hmm. like poppy seeds or if you can't eat poppy seeds, you can leave those out. Um, you don't have to have them. And mm -hmm. then we're going to add a third cup of, you can either use sugar or you can use a non-nutritive sweetener uh, like sucralose or something like that if you're uh, watching your sugar okay. or calories. And we're just going to whisk this together. Now, you can... Um, put all of this in a jar with a, a tight fitting lid and just give it a good shake mm -hmm. and um, shake it to, to blend it well but I'm going to to just whisk it up and then this that's it for our dressing beautiful and it's just nice little crunch to it with the poppy seed yes so super easy and of course uh -huh. it has a pretty color there and so then this can be tossed with our salad um, to give us just some great flavor of course, if you prefer, you can purchase dressing. Sort of dip it, yeah. That's right. And you know that one I love tip. homemade dressing. I'm going to give it a little taste before yeah, we... That's a tip, too. You know, if you're mm -hmm. really wanting to watch your fat and calories, and you don't want to get a lot of dressing on your salad, but you want to taste, you can always just um, dip your fork in a little and then mm -hmm. get a bite of salad and be able to, to reduce your fat and calories that way as well, but still get that flavor from the I dressing. I love that dressing. Great. It's wonderful. It pairs so nice with the strawberries. Yes. Well, and with our, the spinach in there, you know, spinach is a great source of vitamins mm -hmm. and minerals both, um, but particularly vitamins K, vitamins A, and vitamin C. But a lot of times people don't realize spinach is also a pretty good source of calcium. Mm -hmm. So it can help build our bones as yeah. well as giving us those other nutrients to keep our bodies healthy and strong. Well, Kathy, we're out of time, but this was wonderful, and you can get this recipe at myalphamiss.com. We'll be right back with the Better Business Bureau talking about Medicare enrollment, so stay with us. Trade names are used by the LSU Ag Center for clarity and information purposes only. Neither commercial endorsement of specific products nor a recommendation to the exclusion of similar products is implied.